Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Captain Stonker reporting for duty. Welcome to Lawville. This is a remake of my beginner's guide, which I made in 3.0. We're now on 3.3.5 3.3.5 PTU. And it's added lots of new features such as uh, the planet Hurston. Um, Object container streaming came in 3.3, which added big performance boosts. But for now, I'm going to take through the basics. You'll wake up in your hab. When you die, you'll wake up here again. <laughs> you'll keep waking up here. Um, it's not the preferred place at the moment because it's not been optimized very well. They're doing testing. It's quite laggy. <clears throat> but we'll we'll survive. So this is you. That's not you. That's your Moby Glass. This is you. This is what you'll start out as. As you can see, you have a spacesuit and a helmet, which is good because that stops you dying as soon as you go out into uh, the nasty atmospheres. Hurston itself is breathable. The the atmosphere is breathable, so you can remove your helmet and your spacesuit if if you so desire. But as soon as you go and spawn a ship and take off and get out of your ship, you'll die. So, probably best while you get into grips with things that you keep your helmet on. Now, that's F4. F4 switches between first person and third person. F1 brings up your Moby Glass. This, is, this contains all the information and options you'll need. I'll do a quick run through. Uh, this is the com link where you can see general chat, uh, you can see your contacts and you can basically set all the settings for voice over IP, face over IP which I won't, I won't go into in this video, there's plenty of videos available on YouTube and it'll just over complicate things for you. But this is your global chat. Uh, you can also bring up chat now by pressing F12 and press enter to type as you can see there that's local chat if you were in a party you could press tab and it would switch, switch between local chat and party chat uh, but chat's a bit toxic at the moment so we'll turn that off um, back to the Moby Glass again with F1 this is your vehicle loadout manager where you can apply different um, systems and weaponry to your ships but again that's 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 for a later date really uh, if you just bought the starter package you probably have a ship or two um, you don't really want to be tinkering with it just yet next tab along is you and your equipment um, as you can see I've I've got some equipment already bound to my account so I can go to undersuit equip my a nice red Spider-Man undersuit and I've got a bit of armor as well somewhere here um, helmet, torso, arms, legs utility is where you would equip med pens which are very very important especially in this stage where you can just uh, get broken legs from stepping out of a door um, I have got one equipped at the moment, so I'll show you that in a second. Weapons is where you would equip your weapons if you had them. Very important not to forget ammunition, which goes here. As you can see, I haven't got any at the moment because it's all on zero. So I'd have to get some. I'll show you that later. So that's armor. Utility. There's also when you've got the correct armor equipped. <clears throat> you can equip grenades on there as well. So that's you. Uh, this one here is the star map. I am currently here on Hurston. If you double right click, it zooms out to this view where you can see all the locations you can reach, which is basically in this circle here at the moment. Art Corp is coming later, Microtech's coming later. So at the moment you have Hurston, 
which if you double left click zooms in it's four moons uh, some comma rays but Hurston is the first planet so there are lots of locations on Hurston that you can get to and there's good old Crusader with its moons there and then its objectives around the moons again I'm just left clicking right clicking using double click you can use the mouse wheel to scroll in and out if you hold the right mouse button you can move it if you're on the left mouse button you can rotate so it's actually quite intuitive that's the star map but we'll go more into that one plus a plot of course later um, this is your journal which not too important at the moment if you've got some of the missions will bring up a journal entry which you can read this isn't actually in the game yet this is where you can uh, modify port equipment on the ships at a later date now this is quite important when you land your ship at an outpost most outposts, most big outposts such as Lawville, Grimhex, Olasar, Levski will let you repair, restock and refuel just by clicking on these buttons here from your mobile glass from inside your ship quite important to remember and the last one is missions this is where you can see all the missions that are available generally uh, personal missions which are available you can accept the object them down here uh, once you accept it goes to here you can see the details of it and hand it in sometimes depending on the, uh, the type of mission that's your history and this is beacons if you get stuck somewhere you can create a beacon for either combat assistance personal transport um, tell everybody where you want to go and enter a payment amount which is quite important because nobody will come out for nothing um, <laughs> Once, you ex once you've created the beacon, they usually get accepted and it will tell you uh, somebody's accepted it. You can then see them from your, uh, your hood. You can see them getting closer and they will pick you up, take you to dinner, your destination. Once you reach the destination, they will automatically be paid out of your balance. When it works, it's amazing, but you do get trolls, which will create a beacon just to get you out there so they can destroy you and steal your ship but uh, that's life okay now next important thing is inner thought if you hold down F it will bring up a cursor um, anything you can interact with while you're holding that cursor holding F will be displayed as either yellow or orange yellow means you're too far away so if you get a bit closer click on it you can open it's a nice system I can close that button open it again it is a nice system um, it's, it's not very buggy now it's, it's, quite, it's, quite, it's quite stable uh, but as you can see I can open the toilet by holding F uh, as always control is crouch X is prone which gets you uh, into some strange situations currently so if I hold F on here I'll get the option to open the door so if I left click the door opens now this is where it might start getting a bit laggy uh, this is the hub in Lawville as you can see it's night time at the moment so we'll go and have a wander around Uh, I may speed this up actually because it takes quite a while to travel around Lawville. So from this point I shall speed things up.
Okay, I sped that up so you could explore at your leisure. It's always best to wander around a place such as Lawville and get to grips with it yourself. But I just wanted to show you quickly the new train system. As you can see, both these lines, this side and that side, are going to the spaceport, which is where we need to go to uh, get a ship. trains here are on very accurate timers as you can see 70 seconds until that one arrives 76 until this one arrives Okay, this is your new introduction, this is New Deal, where you can buy ships from in-game currency. Currently, in the PTU, we're given 5 million-ish to play around hiring ships. I'll just show you rough, briefly what you can buy. In here, the smaller ships, such as the uh, little racer there. Prospector, which is the mining ship. You just approach it, hold your inner thought, uh, select buy, and as you can see, it will want from you 1,627,750 AUEC, which is Alpha UEC. Uh, at the moment, that will take quite a while to grind from missions, but you know, it's a ship. Can't expect them for free. Uh, down there are the larger ships, which you can take a look around yourself. Have I gone the right way? Am I lost? I'm lost. Now, these are ship terminals. They're bugged at the moment. They're not showing where your ship actually is. So we might get lucky. We shall have to see. Again, hold your inner thought. Press your mouse button. It gives you a list of ships available. I'll just get a starter ship for now so we know where. So it's familiar to you. Here you can retrieve your ship, which will bring you to one of the landing pads. If you destroy your ship, if you lose your ship, you will have to claim it. Now, if you click on claim, file a claim, it's free, and it will restore your ship, as you can see there, in 6 minutes 15 seconds. So that's that. Then it will give the option to expedite the claim, which has a fee. Now, the fee in this case is 298 RPUC, which ticks down, obviously, with time. Um, and that will change your delivery time from six minutes to one minute so let's just do that there you go less than a minute left but we're not going to get that ship see it's bugged out now I'd have to go back onto it to see the ships again we shall pick up a Mustang so we retrieve now it should tell you 
which pad your ship is on with any luck there we go hangar 4 at the moment it's buggy as I said and it will say the pads are full and you won't be able to find it very easily but if we look over here now hangar 4 what's to the left Three, four. At the moment, these are fake elevators or fake evacators, fake evators as I like to call them as you can see your ship is over there somewhere 533 meters away so it's not actually traveling to the ship it's going to teleport you there in a second some of the elevators in the game do work correctly So, this is your ship. Uh, they're all quite similar the way they operate. If you hold down your inner thought on this particular one, you get the option to enter pilot seat. You can open things separately if you wanted to uh, role play that way, but it's much easier just to click on enter pilot seat. And once you're in, Hold down your inner thought, you can see all the options down here. Plenty of options. Eject is a good one, don't forget that. Uh, now what you're looking for is flight ready is the easiest way. It turns your power on, turns your engine on, etc. Now as you can see, if we look up now, we can't get out. So what we have to do Go to our Moby Glass, go to our com, com link, contacts. Now, wherever you are, there'll be a landing services, whether you're here, Levski, Olisar. Olisar, obviously, it's not a hangar, so you can just take off, but this area, you'll have to contact them by clicking there. You are clear for lift off. And the uh, stuttery guy will say, We're clear for lift off. Come out to the Moby Glass. Z, by the way, gives you free look but you can't operate your ship like that so you have to turn it off again but if you put a free lock on you'll see the hatch is opening now I won't tell you how to fly a ship plenty of tutorials on the internet and on YouTube but basically we're going to hold space as you can see it's still a little buggy and I was in free look that's what happens when you're in free look you have got to hold space to lift off and it says there the landing gear is deployed so you press enter lift it up now what you see in there those horrible Adapted. markings are the no fly zones of Lawville as you can see them down there if you fly into those you'll just explode safest thing to do at Lawville is just go directly up now you see the blue bars on the HUD there if you find zero which is there that's your ship level so if you just stick around zero hold space and just go up and up and up and up you see more of lovely Lawville now you see the flashing white markers hovering around fuel 100%. you want to be above those to be safe of not going into a no-fly zone And off we go. F4, 
external view same as if you're on foot the wings are bugged on this as you can see landing gear down landing gear up there we go but again this rework is new for 3.3 .3. so it's still a little bit buggy Now wherever you want to fly to from here, you will have to go out of the atmosphere. Um, you can't see any quantum points from in the atmosphere. So just aim up. And boost your way out. You see your speed on the left hand side there going up 255. You can't really go above that until you get out of the atmosphere. But see from external view we are pointing up and blasting off away from there. Speed is also restricted. Just below there you've got maximum say speed, current altitude and then a box with SCM that's your general cruising around speed if you press I'm not sure what the key binding is I have to change all mine around but I think it's shift normally you'll see afterburner activates you can go much faster with afterburner it's speed correct uh, rising up there 450 but this really does burn through your hydrogen fuel which on this particular ship, if you look at the top of the uh, speed gauge, is at 95. And we're blasting off from there quite nicely now. I'm going to turn the volume back up. I know we're out of the horrible hangar. Now while you're heading out of the atmosphere, you can go to the star map, as you can see the Moby Glass is a bit buggy, you just have to keep trying, there we go, uh, go to your star map and I think we'll go back to, just trying to decide, I know that we can buy items, clothing, Uh, the truck stops, the rest stops, which are these L3, L4, L5. But I think to keep it simple, we'll go back to Port Olisar, which is at Crusader. So if you click your destination, we're going to Crusader there. In fact, we're actually going to, if you double click on Crusader, we're going to Port Olisar. Now set route. You can see here, we're going to do this in two steps to navigate around planets, etc. It's going to send us to Crusader and then to Port Alisar. So that's the route set in. You can clear it. Uh, you can, this one here views you or where you are. Again, if you double right click, it zooms out. This one, what does that do actually? I can't remember. Anyway, the route set. So if we come out of the Moby Glass now, you will see just to the right of my console there's an orange triangle. That's your first jump point. It's orange because we can't do it just yet because we're not we're, we're either not out of atmosphere or obstructed. But if we just uh, move around to it, I'm just getting a bit of blackout there because I moved too quickly. Now, as you can see, that's currently blocked by the planet we've just left. So we need to come out of the atmosphere. Again, I'll probably speed this up.
OK, after replotting its change its mind, it's going to send us to the outer marker, first of all. The, every planet moon has, an, has outer markers around it to allow it to jump around the, uh, the body itself. Now, as you can see there, if we put our cursor over it, it changes to the quantum drive interface. It's a waiting spool. So what you can do at any time is press B. And you can probably hear that starts to spool your quantum drive. And if you line up with your destination, you can see calibration on the left hand side increased and now it's at ready. So with spooling complete and calibration ready, if you hold down B, quantum travel engaged. it will do the quantum jump for you. And that's just done a short jump to the outer marker. Now it will automatically show your next destination, which should be Crusader. As you can see, just to the right of my console, you can see the other marker. It's not very clear, but it is there. Blinded by the sun. Okay, again, wait, awaiting spool, so we press B. Hydrogen fuel, 75%. Calibration goes up. As soon as they're both ready, hold B. Quantum travel engaged. Now this is a very long journey. I believe in a ship this size it will take about 12 minutes, so I shall sp definitely speed this up, so I'll see you on the other side. Okay, now as you'll see, I'm in a different ship. That's because the PTU servers decided to crash just as I arrived here. So I've switched into the live build and I don't have the ship in the live build which I was using. Not to worry. Okay, so once you reach your destination, you can see here the landing pads. Some ships already on there, some ships flying around which are the green triangles. What you need to do is, it's easier if you just stop, lower your landing gear, pressing N, go to your mobile glass with F1. Comlink, contacts, and as I said earlier, there's always a uh, landing services. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. I'll tell you, so proceed to the landing bay, and as you can see there, there's a green maintenance icon. Uh, in 3.3.5, the landing zone is much more apparent. It has a big green box around it as opposed to this little flickery image. So slowly make your way over, slow down as you get there. You can either land manually or at this point if you hold N which is your landing gear button landing it goes into automated landing. There we go. Landing complete. Now, Landing at this point, complete. at safe zones stay. such as Olisar, you can just turn the power off. But if you're out at an outpost on a planet or a moon, I would recommend just turn your engine off because then your shields are still active and if somebody decides to take pot shots at you, it's much more difficult for them to destroy your ship. So, we'll hop out here. Make our way inside. Uh, T brings up your flashlight, which is quite useful. But I wouldn't recommend getting into a ship with it on because it reflects off the windscreen of the the cockpit screen, the visor. Here we go. And this is it, we're inside. Again, if you wanted to, you could take your helmet off here, but I tend to just keep it on. Otherwise I'll forget. Uh, what I wanted to do was shop. And of course I'm going around in circles now. Excuse you. Go back to where I was. Okay. 
Yeah, I'll run past it. Okay, now these are flight suits, which, you know, they'll keep you alive, but they don't offer any protection against bullets or energy weapons. This is the armor selection. Now, as you can see, it gives you the details of the whole of the pieces it is navigating over there. But if you hold your inner thought button, select the piece you want to buy, which is highlighted. Again, you, you can try on suit as well. Or you can just buy it. It will tell you how much it costs. Gives you details on it. There you go. You see damage reduction 30%. Confirm purchase and exit. Now you'll think, why am I not wearing it? So you go back into your mobile glass, into your equipment manager, armor, torso, and it's there. It just gives you a nice uh, preview of it there. Save changes. If you don't save changes, obviously you'll come out of your mobile glass and still be wearing your flight suit. And now, as you can see, we have the armor piece on. Then once the, once the armor piece is on, you can add weapons. I've already done it, as you can see. You can add your weapons to it. And also your utilities, such as grenades and med pens if you have any which I don't seem to have and save changes and now you'll also see your guns on your back so I think that's about everything there's a lot more to the game such as mining cargo buying and selling just look them up on YouTube there's hundreds of videos available but this was just a quick beginner's guide to the latest versions and how to get started especially if you've just done the free flight if you are doing the free flight you're interested in buying the game there's a link in the description which will give my referral code which will give you 5,000 in-game credits uh, as you can see I've got 31,000 but you know I think you start the game with five so if you use the referral link you'd start with 10 and you can buy a bit of armor or a gun so it does help um, other than that, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll try and help you out. And good luck, have fun, and I'll see you next time.